sick of T2-3D when we started up on what was going to be Project X, and I was assigned a couple of lands, and one of them was superheroes. And Jay, right off the bat, says, Spider-Man has to have a ride. Now, I'm a comic book fan. I'm a Duck Savage fan. I'm, I grew up on Edgar Rice Burroughs, Marvel Comics, everything. So the first thing when you think about a superhero like Spider-Man is you, you, you've got to break that envelope. You know, you, so as soon as you start thinking about where we're going to go with this, you rule out an animatronic ride like Pirates because, you know, superheroes is in your face. And, and so to be in your face, is you, after a very quick, you know, run through your mind of what you can do, 2D projection, it's like 3D projection. Okay, 3D projection, we're in the thick of T2 3D. We already started that. We're probably halfway through that. Tony, but we got a big sound stage at Universal, remember? And we had three big screens, and we got the projectors for all the screens. And then we had the, all the house, you know, taped down on the floor of the theater for T23 and what the best seats and worst seats were. And we let Sid Scheinberg and Jay Stein and, and Phil and everyone sit in these different seats. And everyone was convinced, okay, the three screens work. And all we did was we just got existing 3D footage from other projects and ran them in loops on these, on these three screens. Then, we had all these little rolling chairs, that's all. Put Sid, Lou, Phil, everybody in these chairs, and we rolled them around <laughs> so that they could see the 3D work from where we were. If it hadn't been for that, I don't know that we would have got to finish. But everyone kind of felt, oh, okay, yeah. And, you know, on a very primitive level, it demonstrated that even if you're on a moving vehicle, 3D still will work, it will work. And that's, that was a key moment. It was our cheap universal version of your, of your truck. I have to tell you my favorite mock-up story. This yeah. took diversion a little bit because it's not a dark ride. But when we were doing Incredible Hulk, you know, we have the catapult. Yeah. That had never been done before where you went off the catapult directly down. And there's a lot of technical difficulties with that. But we also wanted to test and see how many Gs did we need to get on that. So literally, we built a track, um, built a steel structure, and put two cargo containers on the end of it, put a go-kart with wheels on it, and strung a cable on the go-kart <laughs> over a shiv with two big railroad tied railroad wheels as a weight, and calculated the amount of G-forces that we would get when you pulled the pin on the weight and it fell into a hay bale. And we literally, this is how stupid we were. <laughs> People sat in that go-kart with a helmet on. <laughs> somebody would pull the pin and we'd go. Oh yeah. My back, my back I swear, is still sore from that. <laughs> this is how great attractions get made. Well, my, my big question is, are there pictures of all these mock-up things? Yeah. Well, in, a, in, in about 48 hours, I'm going to need a new project. So uh, <laughs> maybe we'll do a mock-up book, huh? All right, so what we're going to do is this hour is coming to a full and complete stop pretty soon here. What I want to do is open it up to a few questions. I'm sure a few.